With LumaFusion 5.0 comes the introduction of the Ease Editor, the pro feature unlocking your ability to affect the rate of change in between any keyframes you set in LumaFusion. For example, we know that by using keyframes in the Frame and Fit Editor, we've always been able to easily animate the motion of a piece of media as it plays out. Our title in this case moves from point A to point B at constant speed over a set number of frames. But now with the introduction of easing in LumaFusion, we can make this motion appear more natural and lifelike by adding gradual acceleration and deceleration into the motion of our clip as it travels between keyframes, taking away that harsh start and finish to our animation. Easing can also be applied in the speed and reverse editor when we create a speed ramp, in this case changing the playback speed of the clip from half its normal speed to three times its speed from our first keyframe to our second. Without the use of easing, the speed would change in a linear fashion, increasing at the same rate with each frame between the set points. However, when we introduce easing into the mix, we can smooth out the edges of our ramp, which not only creates fluid transitions between the different speeds, but also gives us, as editors, more control over how our media plays out on screen. Easing can also be utilised when we're working with audio, say for example, altering the volume of our media. You can see here that to accompany this silent video clip, I've added a sound effect of a moving train. Using keyframes, I've increased the volume of the audio as the train comes around the corner and gets closer to the audience. By easing the audio out of the first set point and into the second, I'm altering the rate at which my volume changes between the two set points, making the increase in volume more fluid and realistic. In this example here, I'm gradually increasing the volume and then shooting it up quickly as the train goes past the camera. So we can see that the ability to alter the rate of change between two set points on a clip, whether it's a clip's motion, speed, volume, or in this case, color and effects, gives us as editors a huge amount of control over our edits and how our story unfolds. To get started and add easing to your clips in LumaFusion 5.0, tap the Ease Editor icon at the top of the preview. You'll be prompted to unlock this feature with a one-time in-app purchase. We'll also get access to speed ramping and enhanced keyframing with Bezier curves. With the Ease Graph open, place your playhead on or between your keyframes and use the sliders beneath the graph to control the ease in and out for the highlighted areas. The purple slider controls the easing behavior into a keyframe and the green slider controls the behavior out of a keyframe. For faster rate of change closer to a keyframe, move a slider to the right. For a slower rate of change, move a slider to the left. Move the position of a keyframe by long pressing and dragging left or right or use these nudge icons to jump either one or 10 frames at a time up to the next keyframe in either direction. If you'd like to hold a value till your playhead reaches the next keyframe, simply move the green slider entirely to the left. The yellow line in the ease graph will turn blue. This indicates a hold, creating a sudden change at the following keyframe. We can see that here in the ease graph, each keyframe is alternately represented at the bottom and top of the graph, so we're able to have a clear view of the easing in and out of each keyframe. However, for a clearer look at how the rates of change differ between the keyframes in your clip, head to the velocity graph. The x value here is time, and the y value marks the relative rate of change, with faster values at the top and lower values at the bottom. The graph will change as you adjust the easing, altering the rate of change heading in and out of a keyframe. This makes the velocity graph a great visual tool to use if you want to match the easing heading into and out of a particular set point. However, there will be some times where you'll prefer a faster edit without manually adjusting the sliders and using the graphs to set your own easing yourself. In that case, use the drop down Ease Presets menu that has a variety of ready made easing templates for you to choose from. Place your playhead on or between two keyframes and when chosen, the preset selected will affect the highlighted in or out area. 
For presets that affect the entirety of your clip, look to the top right of the editor you're in and tap through the selection from the LumaTouch team. By tapping once on a preset, you'll overwrite the keyframes on your clip, allowing you to try out different styles and significantly changing the look and feel of your media. You'll find the Ease Editor wherever you'll find the ability to keyframe in LumaFusion. So go ahead and experiment and see for yourself how easing can help you add that more realistic and professional feel to your media.